Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 255. I'm your host, Norman Sanso. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello. How are you, Norman? I'm good. I'm good. How about you? Great. Been a slow week, I guess. Kind of, yes. But it's not that slow. We're doing stuff. We play games and whatnot. But how yes. have you been doing? How have you been doing? Um... Compared to the last show, I'm doing fine as usual. Ah, nice, nice. When you said the last show, that was episode 253? Yeah, 253. Yeah, 253, not 254? I, I, I forgot. Like, who was on 254, by the way? 254 was... Uh, I can't remember. I, I, I think did. BT, right? Yeah, BT. Were you there? Yeah, yeah, it was BT. No, I wasn't in BT's show. I was with the uh, with Docs, remember? yeah. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> but at least we have you, um, so that's good. But besides the point, um, it's been, what, like two weeks, have, haven't it? Yes, it's been two weeks. Mm-hmm. So we've been playing some games, catching up. Nothing new, really. Don't just say nothing new. I mean, we just got into Tabletop Simulator. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yesterday, you know, yesterday. Oh, yeah, that, it's been that great was... fashion. Yeah, I had Tabletop Sim for a while now, but never yeah. really played a proper game. But yesterday was fun just because of who we had. Uh, we had, yeah. I think, Derek was it? He was one of the uh, shopkeepers for a board game store. So that was also uh-huh. awesome too at the same time. Like having a storekeeper playing with us. So that, that was cool. It's been a great moment. Yeah, like uh, the game we played was Secret Hitler. And oh my god, that was such a fun game. Guessing out who's the traitor. The fascists and whatnot, yeah. But the thing is, right, that game involves a lot of thinking, a lot of pre-planning, and a lot of... Guessing. Not really oh, guessing. Not really guessing, because, okay, for the... Deductions, basically. Yeah, the deductions. For for the liberal, they really need to uh, de- detect or really need to think hard about who is the... What you call this? Who is the fascist and also yes. Hitler? And for yeah. the fascist and Hitler, they need to really plan on how they should attack, like how they should manipulate. That was really cool. Manipulation. Because uh, yesterday we all six played, and I think Doc and me were the fascists. So Doc was the leader, I was the follower, and when we played it out. I remember getting three of the cards. Two of them were liberals. One of them was fascist. And then I played the expression of, ah, I hate RNG. RNG sucks. <laughs> and then, like, I played that to a really high amount where I even said that, man, if this was real card game, uh, shuffling, I would believe. But since this is a digital shuffle, I don't believe it at all. Like, this is just, Poopy. The mind games, basically. Yeah, so it's like, I gave Doc one fascist, one liberal, and he got my message, like, oh, uh, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, oh, uh, it was so much fun, it was so much fun. Yes. Uh, the mind games, yeah, the, the mind games are fun, like, discovering yeah. who was the fascist and who was not. <laughs> But that's besides the point, that's besides the point. Um, For people at home who are interested in this awesome board game, go to your local board game store and see if they have a game going on. Or you could play it with your friends because it is really fun, it is really fun. I agree. But talking about fun stuff, uh, ponies. Ponies are fun. Yes, I agree. Ponies are fun. Yep. Can't wait for the season premiere. Yep, season premiere is going to be on the 5th. Um, last we reported, the two episodes were no title for this episode, episode one and two. <laughs> but no, no, no. Uh, we seem to have an episode title coming on. Uh, I think those two episode titles are Celestial Advice and All Bottled Up. I think Celestial Advice is episode one and All Bottled Up is episode two. But there is an official air date for episode three. And episode 3 is coming out on the 22nd. That is a week apart. So yeah, um, unfortunately for us, there is no title for this episode yet. So far. 
So yeah, the the hype train is going on and it's going strong. So it seems that we'll be getting a pony episode on well April, April fifteen is the start and it goes on. I do hope we don't have a break, but I do think that we might have a break. But talking about titles with episode names in it, um, like I mentioned, episode one and two do have titles, and it seems that we are, have gotten more info drops. It seems that the YouTube page for the My Little Pony YouTube account has revealed the season seven teaser clip of episode one. And you know what? This is strange and confusing because, um, remember the last time when we got that tweet from John Delancey? Yep. Yeah. John Delancey. He said that he got no idea if he's recording or not, or if he's, yes. uh, if he'll be in season seven or not. Well, <sighs> he is in season seven. Yeah. Yeah. Turns out he's in season, yeah, episode one. Yeah. So it's like, what? <laughs> Is that only that? Like, my question for episode 25 to 26 was, oh, I wonder how Torex's voice is going to sound after he uh, transformed into the new changeling design or whatever it is. Like, oh, I wonder how's that going to be. And you know what? Still the same. <laughs> uh, what, what do you think, man? Well, really, I was managed to scroll down the comments and then at the bottom, apparently, someone mentioned about it. Uh, talk talking about how John Delancey doing the recording for Discord, he did say, um, they did say that it's going to be earlier. I mean, they did the recording earlier, but not at like last minute. Oh, yeah. But here's the thing with recordings and whatnot. Uh, Mm. When they have a very expensive guy, especially when you're talking about Delancey here, the thing is, they have allocated time for said guy to be in the studio recording. And since John Delancey here is purely invested in the shows in terms of what he is recording, because to him, it's just another show for him. It's just another paycheck. He just reads the line, delivers it well, and then he's off. Yeah, basically reading the yeah. script. So I think... Probably from my estimation is that the show writers give them a bunch of script and he just read it from the yeah. script using his voice. And after that, the editing team, they would just edit out the section of the voice with the specific time, time, what do you call it? Time mm-hmm. slot. I don't know. I can't remember what's the term for it. The time location. And then they just use that and just paste it into the show in that sp- the same time. I think there's be more to it than that. But yes, uh, yeah. that is a good. Uh, summarization of said topic, yes. But yeah, um, they just have him on, they record, and probably this would be his only appearance in season 7, probably? I, I don't know, because we have just been revealed three episodes for now. Um, two of the episodes have title release, yet the um, third one has no titles for it yet, so it's still a long way to go. Then again, I think... Because since we that we see this code right now, I mean, he even John Delancey himself don't even remember. But like I said, probably, who knows? Like William Shatner, maybe. Yeah, probably. I I don't know. If, if possibly. Because uh, because it's hard to estimate right now. Yeah, because it's still early to judge. True, true. And here's the thing also. Um, talking about Shatner, right? Like he is in the show. One of the few things that. Uh, Equestria Daily has it's a lot of info dump like one of the few things that uh, I'm just going to cover is in this season we're going to have two guest stars as for now we got no idea for the future but usually I think when they reveal two guest stars it's just going to be both for now so uh, one of those stars is William Shatner obviously and Felicia Day from the Supernatural and Buffy the Vampire and also um, that web series she has uh tabletop something she's involved with that one but that one's mostly uh, run by Will Wheaton um, I think Will Wheaton I think that's another show she has Will Wheaton like, mm, I, I forgot but I guess you guys at home probably know uh, if you do put it in the comment below they have an episode like they're going to be starring in a show and let's see um, hmm, it, this is interesting 
from what I'm guessing here, Shatner and Felicia Day are in the same episode, joining the main six and leave their cutie mark in the land of Equestria. Huh. That does not make sense at all. So, long story short, William Shatner and Felicia Day are going to be ponies in future episodes. Yay, awesome. Um, other than that, Rainbow Dash. Parents over enthusiastic. Yay! <laughs> so, we, we asked for it, so we're gonna get it this season. Rainbow Dash's parents. Yay! Woo. So, I've been talking a lot. What about you, man? What, what do you think? The question is over enthusiastic. How enthusiastic are they that cause Rainbow Dash to be like that? <laughs> is it gonna be like, a, what you call it, the prop personality? Like, how you say that he's always the fastest flyer in all of the Equestria. Oh, that, that's gonna be interesting. That is gonna be interesting. There's gonna be a lot. I guess that would be a lot of discussion. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, boys, like, too soon to tell. Too soon to tell. Uh, but still, uh, we've been asking for Rainbow Dash's parents and they're giving us in Season 7. That's good. Now we need Applejack's parents. <laughs> Future episode, I do believe, so coming. Uh, also, this is going to be another full season. This is awesome. With five brand new songs on the way. Awesome. Much awesome. So, other than that, we go to... Well, besides the, what you call this... Um, title being revealed, we got snapshots or screenshots of the show in high def. So that's cool. Uh, other than that, I got no idea. Like, just wait for the show to come along and just wait for that. That's going to be better. Anything you see here that's interesting? I guess Thorax is in. Yeah, true. And... Thorax. Yeah. You know what? Can't say much. Too soon to... Hell, so probably we'll just have to wait for the episode to come out because these are just random pictures that could have been done by anyone. <laughs> well, at least Rainbow Dash looking just like himself again with the black sunglasses. That's true that. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we mentioned John Delancey before and yeah, someone asked him this question. Any particular reason you wouldn't be a part of MLP Season 7 if the rumor are true? And Delancey himself replies, Honestly, I don't keep track of which season I'm in. I was just asked to record two episodes for season 8 if that's any help. So, I won't say it's a spoiler because like I mentioned before, every season after season 2 involves John Delancey in some shape or form. So, it's no big surprise that he's going to be in season 8. Which episode and how long he'll be in it? Eh, That would be another question. Well, it could be two episodes for the future. Probably, who knows, because he did say he's recording for two episodes, but are they really two episodes, John? Are you sure? No idea, but what one way we tell is we wait until the future for until the, the time when season 8 appears. Yep, yep, season 8. Ah, wow. There's going to be another long wait. I, 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 I can't wait for that long, man. I can't wait. Just from this, I, at least I could say that one thing is confirmed is that they recorded their lines early. Maybe when during the season, maybe one season early when they record their Probably. lines. Probably. I'm not 100% sure on how they do things now. Previously, yes. Now, I'm not even sure. But you know what? Talking about another guest or another celebrity is Virel. That's been a while. You, you know him, right? Yes. Very bubbly cheese sandwich. Yep, cheese sandwich. And... He has a new compilation album out, which is called uh, Medium Rarities. Doesn't have anything to do with the pony, it's just the word rarities. Just guess, it's just probably just songs that are probably thematic from the old times until the new times, just from what I see. Mm, here's the thing about his album. Uh, I've seen the YouTube video that he's been promoting, and essentially what it is, um, is a collection of 23 rare songs that he's created. Um, I'm trying to check out one of those rare songs without clicking on the YouTube video because if I do that... Basically, um, from just by looking at the picture of the, of the YouTube preview, it looks like rare unreleased other assorted musics from the archives. Yeah, that's a good way to mention it. And yes, uh, because the thing is about Weirel, since he's a... Uh, singer, he has songs that he sung for 
um, other shows and other stuff that, well, technically are not easily available. And one of those songs is Super Duper Party Pony from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. That would be season four, if I remember right. What's the season five? No, it's season four. So he has a collection of songs and this is one of them. And I, I do remember right, Where El has his own show on the Disney Channel, XD, which is um, Murphy's Law. And he has a song for that one too. And he also has a song for Over the Hedge, that other Disney Channel show, if you remember right. I guess so. I don't really listen to much of his songs. So it's hard for me to judge. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's hard for me to judge, yeah. Yeah, okay. But still, this is an awesome song because uh, he has a lot of old tracks that I'm interested in, like uh, Jurassic Paku. Uh, it's uh, his cover, it's not really his cover song, it's his parody song of Jurassic Park, but he sung it in Japanese, which is hilarious. Yeah, it's interesting to how hear like Westerners sing Japanese songs. That's true, that. But it's where else, so it's like, hmm, not, not a story there. So it's like, hmm. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So, if you can't really afford the album because uh, right now there's no digital version of this song because I think it's on Pledge Music. That's, that's the only way you can get it. And the cheapest you can get is the CD box, uh, CD box set bundle plus uh, Access Pass, which is $200. All 14 studio album plus bonuses album and demos and rarities. CD house in custom filled pockets and sleeve with standard LP size jackets. Remaster for CD, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot. Like, this is a lot of things. I, I, I think that you're getting the whole collection. You're, you're getting the whole thing, which is awesome. Really, really awesome. And it's too expensive for my blood because for me it says like even the cheapest thing, it costs me around 887 Malaysian ringgit. So it's like, oh, that's expensive. But if you want something affordable, there's a $25 poster. <laughs> so, Star, you're a fan of Weir Not really. Have you heard of his songs before? Yes, I... Yeah, I do. I do heard of his songs. Uh. Can't really recall. I mean, the only one that I could recall is basically it's Super Duper Party uh. for me. I mean... I'm surprised that of all the five songs, this is one of them. Well, because this is a really fun song. Like, it really catches his thing. Yes. And, well, if you can't afford the 200 bucks for the song, uh, there is a cheaper version and cheaper alternative of it, which is iTunes. And you can go to the store and look for My Little Pony and get the Pony album, which is 9.99, or even Amazon, if you want to do it, like Amazon Prime, something like that. If you really want the song, like Super Duper Party Pony specifically, you could just buy it for 99 cents on iTunes or Amazon. So it's like, yay, <laughs> save you a few hundred bucks there. Woohoo! So anyway, uh, that's the news for this week. And we move on to the next topic, which is what have you been doing this week? And, uh, for me, oof, nothing much really in terms of new things I've been doing. I've been repeating the whole, uh, what you call this, playing video games, watching the uh, any weekly animes and stuff. Uh, other than that, there's nothing really new. Well, mm, let's see, uh, what, I'm trying to remember something I've watched, but, Nah, nothing new comes to mind in terms of what I've been watching. Uh, probably if I really have to force it, I think I've been reading this new comic book called Justice League Power Rangers. It came out this year. Um, three issues are out now in the wild. And essentially what you get is the Justice League teams up with the Power Rangers from the 90s, the Mighty Morphing Era. So, there's something interesting if you want to read. And this is a six-part mini-series. So, that's cool. What about you, man? What have you been doing this week? This week, um, other than catching up on the tech news as per mm. usual, um, video gaming, video gaming, and 
Mm, no, it ain't much. I mean, yeah, it's just been the usuals. Nothing, nothing new happening. Ah, uh, so basically, it's, it's similar uh, to me then. Yes, it's been like I said, it's been a slow week, slow usual mm. week. By the way, uh, what do you think of the Ryzen, like the AMD's Ryzen processor? AMD Ryzen. I was gonna say about that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, my opinion. Mm, it's. I've been hearing stories about how they are impeding the how Windows is like doing the how you call it Windows bug is what they call mm-hmm. it. That is a bit throttling with the messing with the cores a bit. So it kind of like giving a bit of a false report, false benchmark or something. But all in all, it's what you call it. You could just say that it could be a budget system. What Ryzen? Budget CPU. Yeah. Yes. In a way, it's called. You could, I could say it's like somewhat of a budget. It, which is good because right now, uh, like I said in previous before, mm-hmm. I'll show you that I said this before, Intel has been monopolizing the market quite hard for like how many years due to how AMD was like not giving the full potential during way back then. But now AMD has shown its fang and Intel has to do something about oh, it. True that. And from what I see right now in Ryzen 3 and Ryzen 5, well, they to compete with the Intel i3 and i5. And from the looks of it, I could tell it's a, it's gonna be great. That's good because more competition breeds more innovation. We really need the competition out there. Not just more competitions, it's more towards the pricing chain. Um, basically more choices for the consumers. True that, true that. Right now, with how Ryzen is well, I would say how Ryzen is like just getting more options is better because getting an i7 mm-hmm. with whatever it has, like multiple, it has multiple things out, like same thing, multiple versions, but the price range is just all over the place from the most expensive is not really the best one. The mid card one is much better than the most expensive. We're like, what? That doesn't even make sense anymore. And now Ryzen's coming out with their own thing and uh, Ryzen 7 is trying to compete and it's doing a fair job like you're paying for what you get that's what I can say not just that because uh, right now as AMD show its fangs Intel also like I saw it's Intel that has did its price slash <laughs> they don't want to lose that competitive edge pretty much I have lost it already from what I can probably. see probably we'll... yeah we will see yeah we will see we'll see but other than that I guess that's what's been entertaining us for this week I guess if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsshow at gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at thembsshow. And personally for me, I am at Norman Sanzo. Follow me if you want to find, well, stuff or stuff. I, I, I don't know. I, I rarely tweet. Mostly I do is just retweet from my Tumblr. I think so. Tumblr. I won't say Tumblr is where the place to follow me because I just do nothing there. Eh? And Star, where can the people find you? Anyone can find me on that. My DeviantArt, where I post my pictures of my plush collection. Ah, you do have a huge plush collection, right? Yes, pretty much. Huge plush collection. And to date, you have all of the uh, Build-A-Bear My Little Pony plush? Yes, uh, minus... Starlight Glimmer. I'm still waiting for it to yeah, come. True, true. I did read somewhere that uh, Bill Bear is uh, reintroducing or reprinting uh, three of the previous printed ponies. Ah, uh, yes. Basically, Trixie, Flusha, and Rarity. Yeah, they're well, bringing it back, not reprinting. That's a strange word to say. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's awesome. They're, they're back in stock, so... If you guys want more Trixie, you know what you guys should do, right? Like, buy Trixie and then buy Starlight so you can ship them together. Makes sense. Yes. See, when you buy them from Bill Bear, they ship them to you. See, ship, ship. <laughs> <laughs> no, what about Twilight? Don't get no, Twilight. <laughs> there, there's no Twilight anymore. So it's impossible for that ship to sail. <laughs> uh, see what I did there? So, oh. oh that, was, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. Uh, you can also catch us on PonyVerLife.com. Also, please do subscribe to our 
well, I won't say new because it's technically an old thing now, but also to our discussion and review show where we talk about the pony episodes, pony comics, pony movies, and other random things that we are interested in or what we have been asked to talk about. Um, over there, you get me, Silver Sapphire, doing stuff. And talking about wanting us to do stuff, we also have a Patreon. It's at patreon.com slash the MBS show. So what you guys would get there is, well, if you would like us to talk about a specific topic, like Star Here has, you can support us with a low cost of five bucks. That will entitle you for a episode topic for us to discuss. And a thank you. And if you can't pay that much or the thing has sold out, you can support us by giving us a dollar, which entitles you to a thank you. And basically everything that I post up on the Patreon page, which is rare, but when I do, it's going to be fun. I can promise you that. Yay. And well, as the promise for that thank you, I would like to thank Lurker Cat, Twilight Genesis, Nim Dragatorius, Starstream, and our newest Patreon supporter, Master of Flag. Thank you very much for the support, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Starstream. No problem. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about your topic soon enough. We'll talk about your topic soon enough. You want to share what your topic is with the public? Yeah, sure. I have asked uh, Norman to talk about merchandise. So that is My Little Pony merchandising to be specific, right? Yes, My Little Pony merchandising. Because if you ask us to talk about merchandising in a general broad term, we could just go for the we. Like, remember that day, like the merchandising they did for that thing? Like, all the third-party sellers are selling their knockoff stuff, like the steering wheel, the golf club, the tennis racket. Like, what? I mean, Nintendo in general has been great with merchandise. Well, Nintendo official, not third-party. Uh, all the memories. Oh, they even had a frying pan, for God's sake. Ah, the Cooking Mama frying pan. It's not even official, what? Like, <laughs> There's a lot of third party. It's not just that, it's also uh, 3DS. Yeah, it, in general, I mean, Nintendo has always been about. Well, the, that. the Wii has been the worst case in terms of terrible merchandising. Oh, dang it. Uh, but anywho, that's a sample of what we can talk about so if you have something that you want us to talk about there's always uh, the Patreon so please do support us there so anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and this is Starstream and we'll guys catch you next week with another amazing and fun episode of the MBS show see ya see ya see ya